Hey, sub guys, done this here, day 319. Um, so just eating some Skittles at the moment, I don't know if you can see these zombie Skittles. Um, we didn't end up having any trick-or-treats come to our house, so got a whole pile of Skittles, which I might actually um, take some of them with me to work tomorrow. Um, just give you guys something different to munch on. Um, so something I, I just want to talk about right now, actually, is... Um, what I've uh, been listening to, obviously, pop, my, my podcast and so forth, and I listened to um, Andrew Huberman uh, from the Huberman Lab. Um, he's starting to bring in, well, what I'm up to is that he's starting to bring in some special guests into his um, his, his podcast, and he's been interviewing, uh, so the one most recently he's interviewing, I've forgotten the guy's name, uh, but he's a professor in sleep studies, uh, which is kind of cool because, you know, I, I think my sleep needs improvement. And essentially he was talking about um, pros and cons of sleep, blah, blah, blah. But one thing that has taken, uh, I've significantly taken away, which I want to um, apply the protocol to my own life and my own sleep patterns is um, caffeine intake. So uh, consuming caffeine roughly um well let's just say i go to bed at midnight um i'll be avoiding having any caffeine uh, eight to ten hours uh, before that so you know flick the clock back down i will not have any caffeine for six seven eight so let's say i won't have any caffeine from three or four o'clock onwards uh and see whether or not that changes my ability not only just falling asleep I generally fall asleep quite easily but I think in my mindset my ability to focus um, my energy levels my I guess in a way my, my mood as well I think quite significantly my mood I think I want to look into that because there's some moments during the day and night where my mood is not where I'd like it to be um, and when I'm talking about my mood I can get a bit angry um, for very stupid silly reasons um, A. I know that it's due to lack of sleep B. Um, they were talking about um, the lack of sleep and the poor sleep quality and uh, because of having the caffeine on board, um, even though you're able to, you know, obtain decent amount of sleep, you're not able to get your your body into a, into REM sleep essentially. And without REM sleep, um, there's lots of things that happen with REM sleep. Um, things such as growth, recovery, um, mental well-being itself as well. It's a, it's a form of um, like a your own therapy in a way I guess it's it's your personal um, therapy that you know you, your body breaks things down and relaxes your body kind of resets your your mindset just to chill you out a little bit so you're not having that ongoing anxiety or frustration and anger issues or whatever um, so I'm gonna give this a whirl um, and I'll, I'll update you guys you know over the weeks and so forth as, as I'm doing this and I want to really try quite hard to reduce the amount of um, caffeine that I'm having or not reduce the amount of caffeine but what I want to say is actually reduce the caffeine that I'm having um, close to the bedtime so avoiding it 10 hours uh, prior to bed or 8 hour, eight to 10 hours prior to going to bed so um, goal is essentially no caffeine after 3 o'clock um, and we'll see how we go I do like you know every now and then I might have one but on a consistent um, ongoing level avoiding that um, I mentioned about a little while ago in regards to reducing the amount of milk intake I have I've been having um, I've been only purchasing one liter of milk um, per week and once I've consumed that milk so when I'm talking about milk I'm talking about cow's milk uh, when I com complete that um, carton of milk I don't drink any more milk products at home I will have oat milk I'll have soy milk 
I'll have long blacks and so forth or just pure espressos because I actually don't mind having um, espressos and long blacks. I think they quite taste quite nice and I've become attuned to the um, my palettes. You know, I've, I've built up a nice little palette for, for coffee, so it's kind of cool. Anyways, let's see how we go in regards to reducing the caffeine after hours. Um, I think from looking at my face, it's so much better. I don't have big breakouts and stuff around my face. Um, and that's just from that uh, reduction with my milk products. Um, yeah, I think it's gone pretty well otherwise. Oh, Pull-ups tonight, I have tried to go for maximal effort. Um, every time I rewatch what I've done, I critique it quite a lot. I think A, I could have done better range of motion. Uh, B, I don't appear to actually have maximally fatigued um, at my last rep. I, it looks like I should have been able to get at least five more. However, what I was feeling at the time was I can't do any more, it's really hard. Um, and I've voiced over a little bit more in regards to the video and what I'm feeling, what my thoughts are with my pull up itself. That's all for now. Peace. Check it. All right, all right. What's up, guys? Done this in the house. Okay, done this here. So, day 319, I got to the gym. I decided let's go for a maximal effort of pull ups. Um, what I actually notice, so every time I use these types of pull-up bars at the gym, the bar grips are generally rolled right across. So I first thing I do is check the grips, push them back in to where they should be. I then make sure that they're not full of gunk and skin products and stuff like that. So I just, if they need to be wiped down, I give them a quick little wipe down and then I jump up and start my pull-ups. Now the problem with these grips, because they do move quite a lot, when I do my single arm hangs, my hand spins. So every time I was trying to recover a little bit with my um, single arm hangs, the grips are spinning on me. Now, I don't know about you, but if you have done pull-ups where your hands are slipping, um, it's, it's not good, it's not fun trying to focus on that, you know, re-gripping of uh, the bar. Now, it wasn't, now with these grips, it wasn't slipping because of my grip itself. They were slipping because they were rotating. So it, it wasn't a nice sensation and I had to kind of readjust my grip where I'd have to use a little bit more force than I naturally would and rotate my wrists upwards to prevent the um, grips from slipping off. So generally I like to hang off almost my fingertips and it's more of a monkey type grip. Um, but I couldn't really do that as much as I'd like to with these grips themselves. Okay, so I felt as I was getting really fatigued and this is coming towards the end of these um, 40 plus uh, pull-ups. Um, I reckon I got 43 pull-ups and I should have been able to get at least, I wasn't probably going to get 50 pull-ups on this occasion, but I should have got, you know, 47, 48 pull-ups. Um, I just dropped because I was like, all right, it's too hard. Got to change that mindset of it's too hard. But anyways, we'll get to that and we'll see how we go with uh, this readjustment of my late night caffeine intake. So if I'm going to the gym at night, no more pre-workout. That's it guys, just a heads up. So I may not appear to be as energized. Ooh, all right. The other things I did at gym tonight were um, some uh, knee tucks, leg raises, um, front levers, went on the booty machine, did some calves and uh, I think that's pretty, oh, and I did some incline uh, bench press, which was fantastic. Anyways, that's all for now. Peace out, guys.